Hello, good afternoon. Uh, this is David Soto talking to you, and today I'm going to go over more in depth how to use my new scalping strategy with my Excalibur trend indicator. Okay, and I'm going to uh, basically we're going to start with a five minute chart, and then once we get a buy or sell signal on a five minute chart, then we're going to switch to a one minute chart. Okay, and we're going to be uh, we'll enter on a five minute, and then we'll close on a one minute. Basically, okay, <clears throat> it's a pretty pretty simple strategy. So right now, I picked this uh, one currency pair here called EURCHF Euro Swiss Franc. Okay, and we have a five-minute uh, error showing a five-minute chart here, right? And it came in originally, and now it repainted all the way down to here. <clears throat> so now it's kind of stopped; it has not repainted again. So I'm thinking it's going to go up now. If we look, switch to the one-minute chart. <clears throat> What I'm waiting for on the one minute chart is for this to cross the 14 period moving average. Okay, so I always add a 14 period moving average, and as you can see right now, it's starting to cross the 14 period moving average. And what I'm going to do is this is a one minute chart, so I'm going to wait to the next candle. Okay, if it continues to go up past this uh, 14 period moving average, then I'll go ahead and place a buy trade, and then I will wait okay I will wait until there is a red arrow on the one minute chart and then I will close it all right and then take my profit all right whatever that may be my goal with this strategy is to try and get at least uh, 50 pips or points every trade all right usually I get at least that many sometimes 80 or 90 sometimes 200 you know it depends but you know 50 is the least okay if I can get 50 it's good sometimes you know sometimes I can't but usually a 50 is the bare minimum okay and that's really all I'm shooting for if I get a strong 50 pips I'm good all right so I want to wait see the second candle is coming back down again so we're right now we're kind of trapped in this little range right here and I don't think that this is going to be going down any further because it's repainted a few times and now it has stopped so I feel that this is going to uh, be going up now but I want to wait until uh, I get you know two good candles going up the second candle don't look like it wants to go up but we will see alright now we're going to the third minute Going to the third candle and this last candle I want this to go up a little bit higher than the than that first candle that broke okay we have a candle that broke the second one didn't and I want to see this third candle shoot up higher than that first candle that broke once I know that it's going up higher then I can go ahead and place a trade but right now it's not looking too good <clears throat> but let's see here let me pause this video for a minute or two and then uh, come back to you and I'll show you when I place the trade okay ha, it has uh, this two candles later it dropped down and formed another arrow okay so Thank God I did not enter a place of trade when this first candle broke the 14 period moving average. Okay, what I'm looking for is another candle to shoot higher, and then I can know we have a new uh, trend up, and then I can place a trade. And see, there was no repaint between all these candles. Now we're getting some repaint because we hit a new level of support now. All right, so it's looking like it might drop even further if I switch back to a five minute chart <clears throat> see it's dropping even further and this arrow has repainted over to here <clears throat> so it's hard to say exactly what's going to happen <clears throat> I'm gonna I enter on the one minute chart but I'm waiting for this to shoot higher <clears throat> I might just wait for another candle to break and then a second candle once I get two candles that shoot higher 
then I know I get a clear uh, break in the trend. All right, I'm gonna pause the video one more time and then come right back to you. Okay, I come back now and we see that uh, this has repainted probably about a dozen times when I originally came in here in this area and shut all the way down. It started to go up, but I wanted to I wanted to shoot up a little more before I place a signal, and now it just has shot down and repainted again. So apparently it's in a very very strong downtrend. If I go back to the five minute chart, we see that it's definitely coming down, and I wish I would have got in up here and wrote this all the way down. But you know, looking back is always uh, 2020, right? So anyhow. I'm feel confident this is going to reverse here pretty soon. It might take another 15-20 minutes. I don't know, but I'm going to keep this on a one-minute chart. And what I'm looking for is a clear sign that you got two strong, uh, like blue candles, put shooting up. And once I get that, I'm definitely going to uh, place a trade. And um, then I'm going to show show you place a trade, and then I'm going to pause the video again, and then I'm going to show you when the trade closes okay if you see here it's kind of like a flat area right now and the candles are getting very small and we got some crosses right here which are called doji candles okay when you have doji candles those gener those uh, signify there's gonna be a reversal in the market because the, the price cannot decide if it wants to go up or down so it's in perfect equilibrium at that point between the bulls and the bears okay so <clears throat> there's very indecision in the market and the market is getting ready to reverse we see a few other little doji candles so this is telling me that yes the market is definitely getting ready to reverse it's just a matter of time now so let me pause the video and I'll come back to you in a few minutes okay okay I'm back and we have a candle that broke here and this second candle is shooting higher than this candle here so now it looks like it's definitely going to an uptrend I could be wrong okay but it has not repainted yet and it's definitely looked like it's going up so I want to go ahead and place a trade I'll place a buy trade now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wait for the opposite red arrow to form and then once that forms I will close the trade and I will show you that okay so let me go ahead and pause the video now and I'll come back to you I don't know what time maybe another 30 40 minutes and we'll see what happens okay see you, little, see you in a little bit okay so um it has finally formed a red arrow it actually came out on this last candle and repainted and now it's starting to come down a bit so i want to go ahead and close this trade out and hit right here on the x so oh since it's a new demo account um so you see i made it at three dollars and 72 cent so it's not too bad on a 0.10 lot size but i'm going to close it right there so that is basically how my scalping strategy works okay so you start on a five minute chart all right and uh wait until pretty much it stops repainting okay once you get a a blue arrow okay what i like to do you can do stay you can stay on the five minute chart if you really want but all i do is go to a one minute chart because i get a real minute to minute update on what's actually happening in the forest market and i just sit here and wait until it stops repainting okay which is hard to say but um you know a normal minute chart is going to repaint quite a bit in this case it probably repainted about you know uh, at least a dozen times all right came in up here and repaint all the way down here that's not a huge drop but what i like to do is it doesn't matter if it repaints what i do is i wait until I get two blue candles across the 14 period moving average okay I just changed it to 20 playing around but I'm put it back on 14 to show you um, when I get one candle and the second candle to cross then I place a trade now in this case uh, I don't know if you want to call it Murphy's Law but it shot back down after I placed a trade okay but that kind of happens but as you can see it definitely formed an uptrend and now we hit a, a little pocket of resistance here. We have a uh, down arrow. If I go to a five minute chart now, there's no red arrow yet. So technically, I could 
uh, just wait for a red arrow on the five minute chart as well before I close the trade and uh, 15 minute chart there's no blue arrow so the overall trend is really bearish that it's going to be going down if you look in the one hour chart okay we see that we have this down red arrow and it's retracing back up some and what's going to happen is going to retrace up a, little, a bit and then shoot back down again all right in the next hour or so so the goal with this scalping strategy is just to you know get a little bit of money and get out okay as of right now it looks like it's getting ready to shoot back down again so it might hit some resistance I don't know but it has not formed a red arrow on the five minute chart so it might shoot up a little bit more it's hard to say at this point but to be safe I closed the trade I made a little bit of money I'm done and all to do is start panning all my other charts I have open I have set for a five minute chart and just look for an opportunity okay this right here looks like a good opportunity pound USD looks like it's getting ready to go up it's been doing this for a while huh uh, it's kind of late but it might be going some more if I would have got in here I could have made some profit you know but no big deal but I like to do is keep it on a five minute chart you know put about 15 20 different currency pairs and start panning looking for opportunities like this one AED CAD getting ready to drop right it's been shooting up so that's another good one that I could uh, potentially get ready for so anyways that's how I do it open on a five minute chart close on a one minute chart and you can't go wrong okay just gotta wait to that price so you get two bars to cross the 14 period moving average on the one minute chart once that happens then you can place a trade and wait for wait for the opposite red arrow or opposite arrow whatever color that may be and then close the trade okay so if you have any questions or comments please let me know uh, there's a link below in the description of this video from my personal Facebook account you can contact me there also there is a link from our private Facebook group and you can join that as well um, I, I prefer that you uh, join my Facebook group that way you can post any questions or comments there and this way other people can see your question and you know learn from you or learn it as long with you okay so you have like a group discussion or whatever so anyhow just uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to help you and uh, thank you and have a wonderful day